Sean P. Grigsby Jr. for the Double X at WBRG TV5, which is the Intermountain Sports Network. I have Adam Gearhart in the booth with me tonight again as we bring you the second round semifinal contest here at Betts Lane High School, the DW Howard Fieldhouse, with the 58th District Tournament action. But now, we want to show you some action behind the scenes, what's going on at the tournament by some of the people who make it, what it really is, a district tournament of excitement and of fellow beings being rewarded. And uh, we're going to tell you how this bunch is going to reward you. They're known as the Family Resource Center, Youth Service Centers, Directors in Floyd County School District. And Brian, to my left, is going to tell you how you're going to reward the people tonight, Brian. Uh, tonight we're giving out these flyers with the brackets. And on the back of it, we're stopping the madness. We're trying to prevent drug abuse in Floyd County. And we're giving out T-shirts at halftime in both games. These are KIPP T-shirts, which is the Governor's Incentive Program. And we're going to throw it out to the audience. And uh, they've really enjoyed it the last couple of nights. Now, you're the uh, Youth Service uh, Director here at Benson Lane Elementary. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay, and to my right, LaDonna Patton. And uh, tell the folks which uh, Youth Service Center or Family Resource Center you serve. Allen Central Middle School Youth Service Center. And Kathy Campbell. Allen Elementary. And Meredith. I'm with New Horizons Youth Service Center at Betsy Lane High School. And you're the whole school tonight. Yes. And the whole tournament. All right, uh, Brian, if you would, the ladies have on uh, these shirts. Tell us a little bit about what these shirts represent. These shirts are to represent that it's okay to be drug free. And it also has the KIPP logo on there that we're working with. And what does KIPP mean, Miss Campbell? Kentucky Incentive Program. It's the governor's program. The governor's program, and it works with Pike County and Floyd County. Yes. What else are you guys doing here tonight with these leaflets? We're giving out the leaflets, and we're giving out, we're trying to get the information out to the parents to help keep the kids get a message to the kids to keep them drug free in our county. So the, the message is to fight against alcohol, drugs, and abuse, okay? Yes. Now I understand you have a booth over here that you're working from, and as each person comes into the game tonight, you're handing out a leaflet, as Brian said, with the schedule of the tournament on it. Is that correct? That's correct, and everybody will just keep it, and it's kind of a souvenir they can keep, but on the back, we also got our numbers that they can contact us if they have any questions about the KIPP program. Okay, do you have any other comments you want to make? Uh, no, I just appreciate your help, Pete, and um, also Prestonsburg uh, High School grabbing with the T-shirts. This has been great for the tournament. Uh, that was uh, donated by one of our youth service centers at Prestonsburg High School and uh, Karen Vaughn in charge. That's right, Karen was in charge of that. Now, are you folks going to be here the whole tournament? Yes. And you'll be giving away these T-shirts? Every night. Every night. Uh -huh. And how often tonight are you going to give them away? Every 50th flyer that we give out, we're giving away a T-shirt. Halftime of the first game and halftime of the second game. And we're throwing them up in the seat. Okay, well, there you have it. We're certainly glad to have the Family Resource Center directors of Floyd County School System, the Youth Service Center's directors working together at the 58th District Tournament, doing their thing, helping to fight drugs and alcohol. Tell your youth in Floyd County Schools and the middle schools and high schools say no to drugs and alcohol and tobacco abuse. So there you have, we have some fine people doing some work behind the scenes, and these are people really make a tournament go. Thank you for being with us tonight. Appreciate it, and good luck to you. Now we're going to take a little stroll down here if we have time in the booth, Brian. I want to show you two fans. We're going to talk with two fans that follow the girls basketball all the way, all season long. We're going to go down here. Hi, Coach. I want to see Clinton. Hey, Clinton, come out here a minute. I want to introduce you to one of the greatest girl fans that Bessalene High School's had. Clinton Roberts. Clinton, how are you? I don't know. You mean? Doing just fine. How many girls game have you attended this year? Can you count? Just give us a... Uh, I think all of them except one or two. All except one or two. The boys do. You like the boys as well as the girls? Yeah. yeah. Well, what do you think about that loss last night to the Lady Bobcats, the number one favorites in the tournament? That's a heartbreaking, but have to take it, I guess. 
Well, where's, where's your buddy Herb? I was going to get him on. He was here a minute ago. He was here and he took cold feet. Yeah. He took off on yeah. So uh, you've been following basketball for how long? About 12 years. 12 years. Are you a Benjamin Bobcat alumni? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you like a round ball game, and you go to most all the games that yeah. you can. Yeah, sure do. Well, we see you at the station, the uh, uh, Intermountain Sports Network, we see you at the station at the games all the time. So uh, we certainly appreciate you following these kids and supporting them. I like to go with them and help them that way. It's, it's good. We need more fans like you, so hang in there. Who do you expect? I'm gonna, who do you expect to win this tournament, boys and girls? It's hard to say. South Florida's playing good. And okay. like nice. And Pressburg here hard to beat girls here. And the boys, we're gonna see a fine game tonight, aren't we? Second contest. Tonight I tell you. Okay, thank you, Clint. Yeah. One of our fans in the stand, and with that, we'll take you back up to the booth. Adam Gearhart and Brian Lee on the camera. Take it away, guys. All right, thank you, Pete. Pete Grigsby Jr., pregame festivities going on here at the 58th District Tournament live on Channel 5, the NWXKZ Odies 105.3. We want to welcome everyone, and we're about ready for some more tournament basketball action as one more day until March Madness officially starts, but actually it already has. And this announcement uh, that we wanted to make, the Betsy Lane High School is proud to recognize the following corporate sponsors for the 58th District Tournament. And talking about Eric C. Kahn, attorney at law, also Westfall Enterprises, and Culligan of Ivel, Giovanni's of Prestonsburg and Martin, First Star Bank, Pepsi Bowling Company, and Gearhart Communications, all corporate sponsors of the Boys and Girls 58th District Tournament at the D.W. Howard Fieldhouse at Betsy Lane. And quickly running down our sponsors on the radio and TV. And those sponsors would be on the radio, WXKZ 105.3, Hammond Law Office, McDowell Professional Pharmacy, Downtown Drug, Pepsi, Video Magic 2000, Darby and Allen, Richard Salisbury, Dr. Richard Salisbury, Ebony and Ivory, Appalachian Wireless, Tackett Furniture, Dr. Lee Majeki, and Direct TV. On WPRG TV5, we have Microtech Internet Services, Glenn Martin Hammond, Attorney at Law, Fletcher and Hall, Reno's, Hall Funeral Home, Ebony and Ivory, Appalachian Wireless, Downtown Drug, East Coast Supply, Justice and Stamper Insurance Agency, Keen Mobile Homes, and Larry Brown, Attorney at Law. It's an honor to team up with all these corporate sponsors, and thank you for helping making this possible live on 5 and Double X Radio. We'll be back shortly. We're going to take about a four minute break and we'll be back with more pregame. Tonight's starting lineups and the tip off of tonight's first contest, which should be a great girls matchup. Seat number two, Crescensburg, taking on seat number three, Allen Central. That's coming up right here on IMSN. Yeah. Gearheart Broadband knows the internet is evolving, taking new twists and turns as we add our input, make our choices, and follow the light that connects us all. It's quite a journey, one to experience with the fastest speeds available. Contact Gearheart Broadband and connect to the internet speed that suits your journey. And enjoy the ride. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. With families spending more time at home together this year, it's a great time to level up your internet for the speed and Wi-Fi you need to power game consoles and computers at peak performance. Call or click Gearheart Broadband to upgrade. Okay, welcome back to the D.W. Howard Fieldhouse for another exciting night of basketball action in the 58th District. Pete Grigsby Jr., Brian Lee, Adam Gearhart with you for the Intermountain Sports Network. 
And Pete, glad to have you by my side for another exciting night of basketball. And it's the way that it shapes up in girls' action right here starting off tonight. Tip-off getting ready to come up for number two seed, Prestonsburg Lady Blackcats taking on the number three seed, Allen Central Lady Rebels. Tell us about uh, their matchups uh, throughout the season and who fared the best on those matchups. They played uh, twice at Prestonsburg once and Allen Central the second time. Uh, Prestonsburg uh, came away with both victories uh, during the season. Uh, by double digits, one game at uh, Prestonsburg, single digits at Allen Central. However, Allen Central's been coming on uh, pretty strong here with uh, some of their seniors. They have five seniors on the squad, and, and Coach Hubbard has uh, molded together those seniors with some younger players, and, and she has uh, nine or ten uh, girls that she plays, rotates in and out, and she'll pressure quite a bit at most times. So they have improved considerably. However, Prestonsburg, no question about having the talent. Uh, Coach Harold Tackett and heard a group of girls have been playing several years. Uh, Amanda Music is one of them, uh, highly talented player, Brooke Coleman, of course, uh, Mullins. Amanda Mullins is, uh, well, uh, she's uh, well known uh, throughout the uh, region as a, a good uh, ball player. And uh, Coleman, uh, she is, I think, third or fourth year that she's playing uh, for the uh, Lady Black Cats. Uh, they have several uh, players who contribute. Uh, in the scoring. They're 16-12, but they played a good schedule. So, as of last night, uh, I'm telling you, anything can happen. So this is a new season, one that comes out intensity, one that comes out focus, one that comes out playing the best ball to win this ball game. It could be a real exciting ball game. And this one's a big ball game. Whoever wins this, of course, moves on into tomorrow night's championship game. But they do get a spot in the 15th Regional Girls Tournament, so it's a big one. And of course, uh, the girls' action started Monday night. South Floyd defeated Pierce 47 to 13, and then Tuesday night, last night, it was Betsy Lane falling to South Floyd in a shocker, 69 to 57. South Floyd moves on into tomorrow night's championship game. Let's take it to the court for tonight's starting lineups. Jennifer Reisner. At forward, number 10, Shannon Sizemore. At forward, number 32, Carrie Osborne. And in the middle, number 52, Jacqueline Martin. And now for the home team on the scoreboard, the Prestonsburg Lady Black Cats. Number three, Angela Howe. At board, number 14, Brooke Coleman. In the middle, number 33, Ramanda Music. At guard, number 42, Stephanie Adams. 
And at forward, number 44, Amelia Conley. The Black Cats are coached by Harold Tackett. The Lady Rams are coached by Sydney Halbert. And there you have the starting lineups. And just to mention some of the statistics that the Prestonburg Lady Black Cats has provided by Coach Harold Tackett. Two leading scorers of Amanda Music with 20 and a half points per game. And Conley, Amelia Conley with 15 and a half points per game, along with the starters point guard Howe with 5.3, Brooke Coleman with 6.6. .6, and we haven't been supplied any information on the scoring for the uh, Adams girl, but she's the other starter on the press first team. All right, we're about ready for basketball action. It looks like Amelia Conley has stepped in. Jump up for Prestonsburg, and I don't know who for Allen Central. And the tip is off. That was Shannon Sassmore who was jumping it up for Allen Central. Immediately a layup attempt. No good for uh, number 14, Brooke Coleman. And it'll go to Allen Central. Once again, Adam referees are Tim Trent, Roger Fairchild, and Wyvonna Davis. Allen Central breaks the full court pressure. Prestonsburg in the home, white uniforms this evening. AC in their traditional blue and red. Prestonsburg starting out in man-to-man -man pressure. And inside a foul. That foul's on Amanda Music, her first, of course. First of the game, we've only played 26 seconds. Down Central bringing it in under their own basket. Off the inbound pass, the three-point shot, no good. And Prestonsburg will set up offense. It's number three handling the ball out top, Angela Howe. She gets it off, Conley. Down on the baseline, Music. She gets the score and she'll step to the line for one. She is a strong player inside. It's hard for anyone in this region to stop her, Pete. She's been a force for three or four years now and has to be one of the leading scorers of all time in 15 3 She is. She played the Belfry a freshman year and our sophomore and junior years at Prestonburg, leading scorer in the region every year. As music goes blind to try to complete the three point play and she can't get to go. And if I'm not mistaken, she played for Allen Central when she was in eighth grade. Seventh yes, or eighth did. grade, I believe. She's been around these schools here in the 15th region, produced everywhere on the baseline, shot up and in. Jackie Martin on that field goal. Two to two early. Harrisonsburg, Allen Central. Music takes it to the baseline, finds an opening. Her shot no good, she hits bomb of the backboard. Scramble for it on the court. AC comes out with it, pushing it up ahead of the pack. Jeffrey Reisner lays it up and in. That was number 12, Terry Mullins, on the score. It's a bit hard to see the numbers, Pete, from up here. It certainly it stick is. out real good on them blue uniforms. Four to two. On the baseline, and a near turnover. Conley's bumped from behind that time. She picked up a loose ball. And that's on uh, Jack Park. That's her second. They have two team fouls already, and both of them on Jack Martin, the sophomore center for the Rebs. And here comes Howard into the game for Jackie Martin, and she'll take a seat. Tanya Howard's into the game for Allen Central. They catch bringing it in off the baseline. They have to call a timeout. Couldn't find anyone to get it into. And we'll take a 30 second break on the Intermountain Sports Network. Fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home. The ultimate deterrent for porch pirates. Know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution. Encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. It's the first one. Close her team with M1. 
And the second one good off, so it's not it at four. Six minutes to go in the first quarter. Up court it goes quickly. Jennifer Reisner gets back out to Mullins. Terry Mullins doing the point guard handling. Takes it down in the corner to Reisner. And there's a foul on the baseline. That foul will be against uh, Brooke Coleman for Prestonsburg as she was reaching in. And the inbounds pass comes in there to Osborne. Inside they take it. Nice shot up and in. Sizemore. Shannon Sizemore, when she gets in act of scoring, she can put a lot in, Pete. Certainly can. She's a senior. Showing good leadership this year for Coach Hobbit. Six to four. Down Central with the lead. Shot from outside. Won't go down for Angela Howe. And coming off there to Terry Mullen. She's bringing it up court. And she lost it. Picked up by a teammate. And it goes back out to Mullen to set up offense. And she stripped. Music comes up with it. Amanda Music takes it all the way down. And she stripped. Music gets it back and can't get it to go. My the second goodness. attempt up and in. What act? Man, oh man, what action. Stephanie Adams gets the score. And there's all over that base. I don't see how they kept from stepping out of bounds, Pete. I don't either. They see have problems getting it across the timeline. Finally, they do. As Mullen split two defenders, she is fouled. Number three team fouls on Prestonsburg and uh, had three on Allen Central. 6-6 six, six, tie, everything's tied up right now, Adam. Inbound pass in a mess inside and it's turned over up ahead to Music. She lays it in and she'll go to the line for one. Lady Black Cats are fired up. Fouls on Jennifer Reiser and uh, Music will go to the foul line trying to complete the three point play. Second attempt at a three point play, the old fashioned way for Music. And she can't convert. Rebounded off to double zero, Tanya Howard. AC back on the tack, Shannon Sizemore on the baseline. Her shot not even close. Out for the rebound and another foul inside. Angela Howe commits her second foul. That's four team fouls for Prestonsburg. AC back in offensive motion. Now the corner size more. Can't get to go. Offensive board, strong rebound. By double zero, Howard, and they're going to call it for steps, Pete. AC crowd won the foul. And the wide end of the game for Prestonsburg, and Barb Prater is into the game. Uh, she has been for a few seconds for Allen Central. 4 5 remaining in the first quarter. It's 8-6, to two-point lead for the Black Cats, and they have the ball. Music gives off. Take it back into music. She's fouled from behind. That's going to go against Howard. You can see that all the way up here. Tanya Howard committed her second foul, and Jacqueline Martin's already on the bench with her two fouls. Substitution into the ball game. Or back in, I should say, Carrie Osborne. Bounce pass. And Coleman tried to take it into music. It's bad the way. It will stay with the Black Cats. AC in the 2 3 zone. It bounce pass to music. They take it out top. Moving shot uh, will not go down for White, who's into the game now. There's the second attempt. Music on the put back at him. She gets a lot of them. Always around that basket, she scraps after those offensive boards. And 
It's 10 6 now. Christiansburg on top of AC. Another turnover for Allen Central. And the music comes up with it, brings it up court. And the music stops, top the key, and gives off. Coleman takes in to Conley. Conley, I'll wait to the hoop for two. Amelia Conley is going her first field goal. Four points for her tonight. Crescentsburg 12, Allen Central 6, and Allen Central takes a timeout. And with that, we'll take a timeout on IMSC, and we'll be right back. When you add up all the Wi-Fi connected devices in your home these days, you'll be surprised how many there are and how much bandwidth they're using. Do the math. It just may add up to needing faster internet and Wi-Fi. Good thing Gearheart Broadband has reliable download speeds up to one gig and Plume Adaptive Home Wi-Fi to keep all your devices well connected. If you're ready for an upgrade, call or visit Gearheart Broadband online for a great offer. Sports Network. Allen Central bringing it up court. 2.55 to go here in the first period. It's 12 to 6. Bessensburg on top of Allen Central. Black Cats. Line. Woman to woman pressure still. And Sizemore takes it to the hole. And she's fouled in active shooting. She'll collect two free throws. 42 committed the foul for Bessensburg. Stephanie Adams, that's her first. These two teams vying for a spot in that championship game set for 7 o'clock tomorrow night. Sizemore's first free throw, no good. And they'll be playing South Lloyd Lady Raiders, the surprise of the tournament so far. That is correct. 7 o'clock tomorrow night, District Tournament Finals. Sizemore. Hits the second one, she splits 1 to 2. Pulls her team a little closer, 12 to 7 now. And the Lay Black Cats walk it up court. And the air pass off the hands of Adams, turnover for the Black Cats. Surprise half court trap that time by Allen Central. Caught him off guard. Down central. Working around three point shot. Count it. That was number 22 for the Rebels, Jennifer Reisner. And a steal. Reisner comes up with it. She takes it down. Oh, the shot would not go for Terry Mullins, but she'll go to the line for two. We've got a game here, Pete. Brooke Coleman uh, come in her second foul, and they go to the free throw line. Well, the thing is, we got a game. Those two half-court traps on Coleman has paid off. She turned over twice by surprising her at mid-court. Terry Mullins rattles it in. She has one more. She can tie it up once again. And she does just say it. It's 12-12, 207 to go in the first period. Brooke Coleman brings it across court, and she faces that trap again. Uh-oh, yep, another turnover. She lost control. It's affecting Coleman a bit, that half-court pressure, Pete. Three consecutive turnovers without a shot. It's hurting uh, Prestonburg. Scores tied, 12 all, with a minute and 50 to play in the first quarter. Down in the corner, another three-point shot, and this one too long for Eisner. Coleman come off with the board, but it's stolen away. AC turned up the defensive pressure. Reisner down the corner. Sizemore on the move. Nice! Move to the basket for two. Basket by number 10, Shannon Sizemore. She saw an opening and took it. Boy, she not threw two defenders for that basket. That yes, she did. Spot shot from three. And it will not go down for White. On the rebound, Steps called. And Allen Central crowd thought uh, she was knocked out of bounds. Might have had a little help. 
Hessenberg again has to call timeout. They can't get it in. The defense affects them. So another timeout on the court. Allen Central 14, Prestonsburg 12, 112 is on the first period. We got a 30 second break and we'll take a break on IMSN. We live in a modern connected world. Your smart home security system should keep pace with your on the go life giving you a view of your home and the ability to control what happens at your front door as if you were there. The best deterrent, peace of mind, at home or away. Protect what's important to you. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. He's on an 8-0 run, Pete, with uh, four turnovers on Prestonsburg, and they've capitalized off each one of them. Nice conversion to our baskets by AC as they finish every one of the turnovers. Preston's right back in offensive motion, trying to find an opening. Conley gets a shot off, it won't go, and she goes over the back, trying to get her own rebound. That's her first. Number seven on uh, Black Cat, so uh, Lady Black Cats, and that'll be the bonus on the other end for Allen Central. And walking up to the line is Carrie Osborne for Allen Central. She has one in the bonus. And she can't convert. Outlet pass to Coleman is deflected out of bounds by Sizemore. Prestonsburg keeps it. Sizemore is called for a reach in foul. Oh, knock out of bounds. I thought she was calling the foul there. Black Cats take it into Conley, back out. Spot shot from three, in and out. Just wouldn't go down for Stephanie Adams. 45 seconds. Allen Central working it around with the two point lead. 14 12. Inside the size more, she makes a move and can't get it to go. Hit the bottom of the backboard. Music with the board. 23 seconds. Down court to Adams, back out. Cross to Coleman, three-point shot off the wing, air ball. Ten seconds up to Sizemore, she's got a lane. Oh, she can't get it to go. Five seconds, Brooke Coleman, up court. Music, and a little bit of string music right at the end of the first quarter to put the Lady Black Cats back on top, 15 to 14, over Allen Central in the girls 58th district tournament on Intermountain Sports Network. With families spending more time at home together this year, it's a great time to level up your internet for the speed and Wi-Fi you need to power game consoles and computers at peak performance. Call or click Gearheart Broadband to upgrade. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. The ball. I'm by one, 15-14. On the last second, three-point shot by music to put the Black Cats back on top. To start things off, Terry Mullins hits a jump shot. Conley makes a move from five, jump shot, no good. Offensive board, put back, music. Amanda Music on the board, 11 points so far. Up court, Reisner with the finger roll lay in. We have a seesaw battle on our hands. Inside the paint, a foul. That foul's on Kerry Osborne move first. Coming up here. And the front end 
will not go down. Conley, up court quickly. Mullins, and it's blocked. Conley says, get it out of here. She'll take it all the way coast to coast. She ran over somebody. Trying to call blocking on that. That's right. Carrie Osborne called her for blocking. It's the toughest call in basketball. Brown didn't like that call. <laughs> I don't think Coach Hover did either. That central crowd, a little vocal. Conley puts down the first one. I like the way Amelia drives to the hoop bowl. When she gets it in the high post, she goes to the basket. She was going hard that time, full court at the hoop. Conley, second one. It's good also. Lady Black Cats back in the lead by one, 19-18. Down central double teamed, half court. They get it down inside to Sizemore. And another foul. This foul starting to add up. That foul goes against uh, Prestonsburg number 42. That's Stephanie Adams, her second. Both teams in the bonus. Sizemore takes a few dribbles, sizes it up. Bingo. I heard that expression for a while. Where'd you get that one, Adam? It just comes and goes, Pete. <laughs> Sizemore second one, and it's off to the left. Right there for the board. Black Cats pushing it up court. Music on the baseline. Double team gets it back out. Over to Amelia Conley. She drives the paint. This time, player control foul, no doubt. And Sizemore and Conley, I don't know a few words exchanged. Amelia Conley commits her second foul. Uh, her pull-up J uh, didn't have much, enough vertical jump on her, so she went forward with it and made contact with the defensive player. Mullins, she gets it all the way up court. Tries to take down size for it, it's off. Ooh, oh no. Look like it went off size for his fingertips there, Pete, but they're going Last touch by White. Is this the signal they usually give? Something like that. <laughs> and back to play, Mullins with it. Down to Sizemore, baseline, pass down underneath. Tied up, and it goes to Prestonsburg. To set your referees once again, they called the first game last night. We'll call the rest of the girls' tournament. Tim Trent, Roger Fairchild, and Yvonne Davis. Black Cats in the front court. And they try to get down to music. It's knocked out of bounds. And the Black Cats reset offense. What's the referee giving here? Uh, out of bounds on Prestonsburg? Huh? Uh, no, Tim Tritt is uh, awarded to Prestonsburg. Okay. I think. Uh, Miss Davis got the ends of the court mixed up that time. She meant for pressing her to get it out of bounds. Trying to keep them straight out out there. Inbounds pass, Millie Conley pulls up from five and knocks it down. Pressingsburg on top, 21-19, six minutes to go in the first half. Oh, that's a double dribble. Six turnovers for Allen Central, five for Prestonburg. Both teams taking care of the ball pretty good. Cross-court pass. Adams gives it back out top. Coleman over for a three-point shot. In and out. One go down for Heather White. Another attempt in there. The Black Cats couldn't get to go down. Still. Conley comes up with it, and her pass is off the rebel foot. And Prestonburg set it back up. There's that football kick again on defense. We've seen it a lot of times this year, Adam, in basketball. I don't know how come, but they're using their feet too much in basketball defense. And a baseline drive. Shot no good. Stepping up to the line, Stephanie Adams for two. OK, 
carry off. Keith, this is the best crowd I've seen all year. It's just about already packed, and I guarantee for our next game, South Floyd Betsy Lane, it will be packed out, standing room only. Guaranteed. It should be all four schools in Floyd County are represented here tonight, so that will make a difference. And the first one knocked down by Adams. Jackie Brown, number 34 in for AC. Stephanie Adams. Can't get this one to go, she splits it. And Allen Central working it back up court. All the way to the hole, and it won't go down for Mullins, she's a little bit rejected, and the tie up inside. Good defense by Prestonsburg that time, preventing a layup by Mullins. AC keeps it on their end. The bounce pass to Terry Mullins. And it's not out of bounds, good hands. Music. Inbound pass, Jennifer Reiser. She gives off. Back to Reisner, top of the key. She makes a move, she finds an opening. And the shot won't go down, but she draws the foul. 40, number 40 commits the foul for uh, Prestonsburg. That's uh, Heather White, her first. She's off the bench to replace Angela Howe, who's on the bench with two quick fouls in the first quarter for Harold Tackett's Lady Black Cats. And Swish on the first one. What a game. We have a barn burner brewing. Number two will not go. Riser. Conley on the board. Up court quickly. White gives off to Coleman. Back over. Conley dumps it underneath. Excellent pass to music. Nice to say it. High low pass. Great basketball. She had the jump shot from the free throw line, but she dumps it over. A turnover. Turn on by Jackie Brown. And Music's called for a double dribble. After the uh, turnover by AC, then Music's called for a turnover. Double dribble. Coach Harold Tack a question from that call. 440 to go in the first half. 24 to 20. Prestonsburg on top of Allen Central. Shot out of the corner. Brown. Couldn't get to go. Up to Heather White. Prestonsburg takes it on the baseline. The music won't go, but she does draw the foul. She had two free throws. I thought it was another three-point opportunity, Pete. She had a good look at it. Certainly did, and that's foul goes on number 15. Our Prater commits uh, their, her second foul. That's a nice drive on the baseline. Good move. Just didn't finish. Just can't hardly stop her when she gets down that close edge. She rattles the first one in. 14 points so far for Amanda Music. She's putting on the show tonight. And the music. Double bonus from this point on the first half. And a good on the second one. 26 20. Sizemore takes it all the way in, and her layup is too hard off the glass. And a foul on the rebound. I think that foul's going against uh, White of uh, Prestonsburg. Heather White commits her second. That was on the rebound. She was on the back there. Uh, Jackie Martin who's back in the game for Allen Central. Double bonus, both sides now. What about that? And the South Paul puts the first one home. Into the game for Prestonsburg, number 25. Chrissy Nelson. Number two, and that one's off. 26-21, Pressburg with the lead and the ball. Nelson gives it down in the corner. Music back to Nelson. 
Out top with it wide. Over in the far corner, Adams hit the floor, and ooh, a three-point shot. Count it. By Nelson, a three from the left wing. Off the bench, Pete, too. Green off, fresh off the bench. I tell you, when he warmed up, she cranked up the three. Coach Harold Tackett has to love it. Sizemore out of the corner. She tries to match it with a three, and it's too hard. Music with another board. Dressensburg with the largest lead of the night for them, eight-point lead. Turnaround shot from the free throw line. Conley knocks it in. And now it's all of a sudden a double-digit lead for Prestonsburg, 31-21. Inside out central, can't get it to go down. Tough rebound by Stephanie Adams. She gets it out. And shot for, ooh, in and out by Nelson. That is rattled in and out. And there's a turnover by AC as Jackie Martin threw it away trying to get it to Mullins. And Coach Cindy Halbert wants a timeout to try to settle her. Lady reps down just a little bit, falling behind by 10 here, 31-21. We're going to take a break. And we'll be right back to the D.W. Howard Fieldhouse, the 58th District Tournament. A satellite signal comes from outer space. The satellite office across the country. And their call center? Hmm, we'd better not even go there. So if you want to do business in your hometown with people you know and trust, Call Cable. Gearheart Broadband is locally owned and operated. Our number one concern is giving you, your neighbors, and your community friendly, local customer support. Get everything you want. Go local. Go Gearheart Broadband. Conley, first of the double bonus. And it won't go. Coming up later tonight, South Floyd Graders taking on the Betsy Lane Bobcats. Promised us to be an excellent game. Keep it here on the Air Mountain Sports Network. Second one short. So a missed opportunity for Pressburg to extend that lead. And Mullins got it deflected in the back court. And a turnover. Good. Teammate deflected it, so over uh, and back. Another turnover by uh, AC's Mullins going in backside across the midcourt. That's 10 turnovers for Allen Central. To six for Preston's first. Music. Steps call. Full court pressure now being applied once again by the Black Cats. AC's handled it pretty good tonight. And it's knocked away from behind. Credit Nelson with a good defense. So Pressburg set up offense with that 10-point lead, 31-21. They take it inside. Music finds an opening. First shot, no good. She sticks with it, and it's stripped away. And that steal by Barb Prater. She gives off. Mullins, five-foot jump shot, good. And it's thrown away, Barb Prater. Oh, and her layup's too hard. Off the ripple, back to the Black Cats. Ooh. Barb Prater read that pass so well, picked it off, could convert. And an unforced turnover. Two in a row for White playing the point guard. Uh, Coach Tackett had a problem finding the point guard right now since Hal's been out early in the half with two fouls. Minute 30 to go here in the first half. 58th district tournament. Sizemore takes it to the hoop and lays it off the square for two. And that cuts into that lead. It's back to a six point advantage for the Black Cats 31-25. Nelson from the corner of the free throw line. And she gets the shooter's bounce. It three bounces. 33-25. <laughs> Down court, Reisner. In the corner, Sizemore takes it back out. Mullins. And a three-point shot. 
is no good for Eisner. And as the Black Cats get the rebound, try to bring it up court. Nelson is called with the traveling. One thing about Prestonburg, when they make turnovers, they make them in a the flurry because they had three consecutive this quarter. And the first quarter they had a lead, they made four consecutive. And that was simply cashing in on all of them. We want to thank everyone out there in Eastern Kentucky for making the Intermountain Sports Network your choice for basketball action. As we're bringing you the 58th District Tournament live on five and 105.3 WXKZ cross court pass. Reisner takes it to the hoop, her shot short. It's saved in bounds. Barb Prater comes up with it. Her shot from 10 and it rolls out. Sizemore just picked up her second double bonus, 23 seconds to go, and Prestonburg with an eight point lead. Stepping up to the line, Stephanie Adams. Lady Cats. And she gets the first one. This one could push it back up to a double digit lead. Off the back of the rim. Rebound off to Mullins. Mullins all the way to the hoop. And she lays it in. Nicely done. 14 seconds. Prestonsburg bringing it up court and a foul. Back court. Terry Mullins picks up her second. Sandy Prestonsburg to the free throw line for a bonus. Double bonus. With the seven point lead. 12 and a half seconds to go, Adam. Tell you what, I've enjoyed this, Pete. This is this an excellent game. Keep getting fired up for that second one. Heather White ready for the double bonus. Boom. First one in. Her first point of the night. She's played quite a bit off the bench. Angela Howe in foul trouble. Jackie Brown comes back in for the bonus for AC. Heather White. Eyes the basket. And the second one will not go for her. Good rebound, Prater. She gets it out to teammate, Reisner. Three-point shot. No good. And AC gets the offensive board and a foul inside. Foul number 54. Yes, Vicki Bowling down here commits her first tonight. Sizemore hits the first one. Thirty-five to twenty-eight. Prestonsburg on top of the Allen Central and girls fifty-eight district play. Sizemore trying to cut into that lead. And she does. She hits the second one also. 35-29. Nelson gets off the last second shot. It's not even close, so your score stands at 35-29. Prestonsburg on top of Allen Central and girls 58th district plate. We'll be back with some halftime stats on the Intermountain Sports Network. We live in a modern, connected world. Your smart home security system should keep pace with your on-the-go life giving you a view of your home and the ability to control what happens at your front door as if you were there. The best deterrent, peace of mind, at home or away. Protect what's important to you. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Gearheart Broadband knows the internet is evolving taking new twists and turns as we add our input, make our choices, and follow the light that connects us all. It's quite a journey, one to experience with the fastest speeds available. Contact Gearheart Broadband and connect to the internet speed that suits your journey and enjoy the ride. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. 
Visit eCare.GearHeart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from GearHeart Broadband. Sign up today at eCare.GearHeart.com. Sports fans, we're at halftime of tonight's first game. Adam Gerhardt, Pete Grigsby Jr., Brian Lee at the D.W. Howard Fieldhouse, 58th District Tournament. And right now we would like to announce this special announcement here. The Betsy Lane High School is proud to recognize the following corporate sponsors for the 58th District Tournament. And those sponsors are Gerhardt Communications, Eric C. Kahn, Attorney at Law, Westfall Enterprises and Culligan of Ivory, Giovanni's of Prestonsburg and Martin, First Star Bank, and the Pepsi Bowling Company, all corporate sponsors of the boys and girls. 58th District Tournament at the D.W. Howard Fieldhouse. And now over to my sidekick, Pete Grigsby Jr. for your halftime stats. Pete. Thank you, Adam, as that was a very well played uh, first half of basketball. Two teams going at each other, uh, being well coached. The uh, players doing a good job, referees doing a good job. Turnovers, 11 apiece, even, even. But what happened to uh, Prestonsburg, uh, Allen Central made their turnovers, you know, every uh, minute or two. But Prestonsburg would make theirs consecutively. They made four in a row there in the first quarter with an eight point lead, allowing. Uh, Allen set to go on top by two, and then they made three in a row there in the second uh, quarter when they had a 10-point lead, and that narrowed it down to six points. So uh, they have been turning over as much in the totals as Prestonburg. Let's look at the scoring for uh, Prestonburg, who's leading at halftime 35 to 29, six-point mark. Leading score for the Prestonburg Lady Black Cats, 15 for Amanda Music playing a fine game underneath the board. Stephanie Adams has chipped in with four. Amelia Conley has 10 playing a fine basketball game. Also uh, led by Amelia Conley is a senior. And she does a good job. She has for about three years. I remember the basket she made in the finals of the district for Jackie Day Chris up at South Floyd High School that took them into regional and the regional runners up that year. She was only a sophomore. Christy Nelson with five points off the bench doing a good job and Heather White, who uh, had a lot of playing time because Angela Howe, who didn't score, was in early foul trouble. She had to go to the bench. So uh, Coach Harold Tackett was facing around for point guard, and he finished up with Heather White out, out there, only a, a freshman with one point. They scored 15 points the first quarter for one point lead, 20 the second quarter for six point lead. Now look at the Allen Central running reps of uh, Coach Cindy Howard. Carrie Osborne uh, started, did not score. Jeff Reisner, senior. At six points, one three. Shannon Sizemore playing the five basketball game all the way around for the Lady Reds had ten points. Jacqueline Martin, the sophomore center, got an early foul trouble with three. And Terry Mullins, a little point guard, freshman point guard, had uh, ten points. They scored 14 points the first quarter and 15 the second quarter for a total of 29. Prestonburg outscoring them each quarter by a narrow margin. 14 fouls we had were called on uh, Allen Central while. 12 were called on Prestonsburg. So you have it there, Adam, 35-29. How did you see the first half, partner? I just see it as an exciting ball game. Both teams know what it's all about. One team's gonna go home, they're gonna pack it in for the rest of the season. They're gonna be out of it and watching the other teams. And uh, whoever wins this game is gonna move on into the championship game and also on into next week's regional tournament action. So. You know, it's very important to get by this game, so it's for all the marbles, so to speak, uh, to get on into the big show next week, the regional tournament. So I see it's been an exciting finish, and Allen Central is going to come out and coach Cindy Harvard's a seasoned veteran coach, and I'm sure that she gave them a nice pep, pep talk there at halftime, and she'll have them ready to play, Pete. There ain't no doubt about it. And quickly, we got a couple minutes here before uh, we get started back. I want to mention corporate sponsors on X Radio and also on WPRG TV5. We'll start it off on the Mountain Cable TV5. The sponsors are Microtech Internet Services, Glenn Martin Hammond, Attorney of Law, Fletcher and Hall, Reno's Roadhouse, Hall Funeral Home, Ebony and Ivory, Appalachian Wireless, Downtown Drug, East Coast Supply, Justice and Stafford Insurance, Keen Mobile Homes, 
And Larry Brown, attorney at law, on the radio, WXKZ 105.3 FM, the CAT, Hammond Law Office, also McDowell Professional Pharmacy, Downtown Drug, Pepsi, Video Magic 2000, Darby and Allen, Dr. Richard Salisbury, Ebony and Ivory, Appalachian Wireless, Tackett Furniture, Dr. Lee Majeki, and Direct TV, along with Microtech Internet Services, all corporate sponsors. And we are honored to be teamed up with these people. And definitely want to send out a thanks to them for helping bring this. And if you happen to stop by any of these fine folks, business, establishment, definitely tell them that you appreciate them, Pete. Uh, you know, because uh, they, they, they're a big part of bringing this to everyone. They certainly are there to be commended for supporting high school basketball and athletics in Floyd County, especially for these these students, these kids who play and give it all their, they can to entertain and to play as a fine sport, basketball. And boy, we know it's the king of the mountains as well as the king of the state. It's, it's very enthusiastic, and both these teams are well coached and playing very well tonight, and this is really going to be a good game. I expect it to go down the wire, Adam. All right, we're about ready to take it back to the court for live action. Remember, coming up later on tonight, the Betsy Lane Bobcats tipping it up against the South Floyd Raiders. I believe you're looking forward to that game as much as I am. I'm fired up and ready for it. <laughs> well, look at the starting lineups. I see Angela Howes back in there for uh, Prestonsburg and uh, Stephanie Adams, Brooke Coleman, the starting lineup, music and Coleman for uh, Prestonsburg. And we're off. Black Cats with the ball to get things started. Conley from the line, she puts it in. Conley can hit that 10 to 15 foot jump shot. She was wide open at the foul line that time for two. 37 to 29, Prestonsburg on top of the inside. And the shot won't go down for Sizemore. Up ahead of the pack, Angela Howe. Shot no good, offensive board, Conley put back no good, Shan Sizemore pulls it down. Allen Central needs to get some offense going. Working against man-to-man -man pressure, Sizemore. Gets it, takes it to the hole, her shot no good, she hits the floor hard. And there's a foul inside. That foul will be against Stephanie Adams of Prestonsburg on the rebound. She was fouling. So, a couple free throws coming up. Brown Central's Jacqueline Martin. And the first one could connect. Jacqueline Martin back into the lineup for Coach Albert, the sophomore. Started the first half, but she got foul trouble. Number two, and it won't go either. Conley with another board. 37-29, your score. Pressburg with the ball in the lead. Inside music, turn around, shot, count it, and she'll go to the line for one. And I believe that foul's on number 40. Or actually, number 52, Pete. 52, Jacqueline Martin picking up her third. And Amanda Music cannot convert on the three-point play. Up court, Reisner takes it in against the tall timber and draws the foul. She'll go to the line. Foul's on number 33 of Amanda Music, her second. Amanda Music picks up number two. Leading by 10 points, back to that big 10 point lead for Reisner, a good shooting, foul shooting, seniors on the foul line. And the first one, no good. Well, I jinxed her, didn't I? <laughs> That's three in a row they've missed uh, this third quarter for Tried to make those free throws postseason, and she makes the second one. Full court pressure being applied now by the Rebels. They get it up to Music. Music tries to take it down to Conley and nice transition defense by Sizemore. Allen Central coming out full court pressure now this half. They have court pressure. They saved the full court pressure for last half. And 
inbound pass batted out. Good defense by Prater. Ace, another senior for AC. Doing a fine job this year. Stephanie Adams bringing it in off the baseline, gets it in. Dump inside. Brooke Coleman got her shot blocked by Martin. And setting up offense is Angela Howell. Howell goes around, dumps it inside. Turn around shot music, and guess what? Another three-point chance. Fouls on Jackie Martin. This is her fourth old-fashioned three-point opportunity, Pete, and I don't think she's converted on one of them yet. She's had two opportunities, and she's had three missed. opportunities. This is coming up now. <laughs> right. This is the fourth one right here. Let's oh, see the she fourth one? Is this the fourth She had one? two right. in the first half and one just a few seconds ago, and she finally converts. Having a big game is music. She's getting up there in points. And her team up by 12, 42 to 30. 6.25 to go here in the third quarter. Inside turnaround shot, it won't go down. Tanya Howard will toe the line. Foul goes against Conley, her third, and that will send Howard to the foul line. I tell you, that's what music does so well inside, Pete. She's got, she's, she's tall as it is, and she's got long arms, and she keeps it up above her head, and they can't get up her and defend her, and they slap her on the arm, she puts it in, and, that's why she gets so many chances like that inside. The first free throws off. She's got 20 points so far in the game. Number two, knocked down by Howard. She splits one and two. And full court pressure, once again, set up. Inbound pass, Hal. Hal works it across the line. Music spots for three, and it's an air ball. Brooke Coleman saves it in, but right into the hands of Reisner. Reisner gives off to Sizemore. Sizemore's shot blocked out of bounds. Nice save by Brooke Coleman on the other end, but it's right in the hands of Reisner, who took off down the court with the basketball. In to Sizemore. She's being pressured by Music. She takes it right around Music, and her shot would not go down on the rebound. A struggle, a tie-up. Our possession to which one? I don't know. Trent had to get in, step in, and calm him down a little bit. Tempers are flying just a bit. White back in the game for Harold Tackett's Lady Blackheads, replacing uh, Conley, who has three fouls. I guess it's Alan Simpson's ball at last. They made a decision. And it is. And it's kicked by music. No, what out of bounds. This? Turnover against AC Mullins. Like I said, instant replay on that. Full court pressure. Pressburg have problems. They do get it in just in time. Across court, right with it, gives off. Inside the music. Oh, what a shot! That a scoop is. shot. A Amanda Music in heavy traffic. Look here, what a drive. Oh, man, oh, man, Terry Mullins couldn't get to go. Music open down court, Adams didn't see her. And Amelia Howell, Angela Howell, rather, gives off. And Brooke Coleman shot no good. Offensive board and put back no good for White. And a tie up. He'll stay with Prestonsburg. On top, 44 to 31, 5.15 to go in the third. A lot of action. 13 point lead for the Lady Black Cats, their biggest of the night. Inbound pass, Angela Howe. She takes a shot from about eight foot, no good. Reisner runs down the rebound. Up court, all the way down on the baseline, and a foul as she's driving. That was a late whistle, but it was a blocking foul on the floor by Angela Howe, committing her third. No bonus as yet. Angela Howe. And Prater brings it in. 
Mullins. Mullins inside. And the shot won't go for Tanya Howard. He missed an easy layup that time. Wide open. Lady Cat set up offense. Working against a half court trap. And that's a walking violation on the Cats. First turnover of the half that I have. First one on Prestonsburg. And no, they had one on Allen Simmons. So both of them are still even 12 and 12 on turnover. Score still at 44-31. Prestonburg's gone to 1-3-1 half court, Adam. AC finds an open, an open Howard inside, and was is a tie-up. We've had more tie-ups this game. That's why I'd like to see the jump ball they back in. They need to put in. that back in to make it more interesting. Yes. Yeah, I, I agree. They need to put the jump ball back in. Allen Central have problems getting it in. Nice defense, Heather White. Up ahead of the pack, Angela Howe. She tries to take it in to Coleman. It's knocked out of bounds. Prestonsburg will set up offense. Shannon Sizemore shooting the gap, knocking the ball out of bounds. Saving the basket. Been a sure basket for Prestonsburg, but she played good defense then. And they tried to take it to Coleman on the inbounds pass. And no one was home, so a turnover. Prestonsburg committed their second turnover in the quarter. 4-13 to play, about half a quarter's play, and a 13-point lead for the Lady Black Cats. Reisner, long three-point shot, and I tell you what, that's what Allen Central needed. Man, that was way downtown, Pete. Black Cats break the line. 10-point ball game. Right. Dishes off inside. And the shot won't go down for Brooke Coleman. Out of bounds, and he'll stay with the Cats. unusual call. Sure is. Trey Mullins though was put in the D. Down Central with a chance to cut into that lead a little more. Reisner downtown. She got it. She's got the hot hand. She's unconscious out there, Pete. That's a long NBA shot. 44-37, Brooke Coleman bobbled it. She gets it back to her teammate. Shot no good, second attempt no good. Right, and hers won't go. Another board and put back. An unorthodox shot by Stephanie Adams, but it goes in. You can say that again, very unorthodox, but it counts. Reisner, ooh. Man, she keeps getting farther out there. Offensive board put back, no good, Mullins. And another board, jump ball, and it goes to Prestonsburg. And Sydney Hobart wants another timeout, so we'll take a break, a 30-second timeout on IMSN. A satellite signal comes from outer space. The satellite office across the country. And their call center? Hmm, we'd better not even go there. So if you want to do business in your hometown with people you know and trust, call Cable. Gearheart Broadband is locally owned and operated. Our number one concern is giving you, your neighbors, and your community friendly, local customer support. Get everything you want. Go local. Go Gearheart Broadband. And a near turnover. Shannon Sizemore shooting the gap, almost stole it. It's back to Prestonsburg. 46-37. Prestonsburg on top. Ball comes in to White. She steps caught. I was getting ready to say a foul on backcourt, but steps is caught on Heather White. Now Central. It's a golden opportunity here. Jennifer Reisner's put the uh, 
Made the ribs back in the game with those two long NBA threes. Inbounds pass. Crater, Crater. Grabs her, she spots for three. She likes that spot. It won't go. A fight for the board. AC comes up with it. Mullins, three-point attempt, no good. Offensive board, ooh! Tanya Howard with a big rebound. And she is hacked. She'll go through the line for two shots. Stephanie Adams commits her fourth foul as Howard goes to the foul line for two. Without Conley, uh, Allen Central's doing a better job on the board. So. That's just, just what I was getting ready to say, Peter. Kind of controlling the offensive board. No good on the first one. She's only one for three from the foul line. And has a chance to make it two for four. We got a little slight injury down here with uh, Tim Trent, Coach Tackett looking at uh, White, Heather White bending over. We're going to have a sub back in for her. And it's Amelia Conley off the bench for Harold Tackett. She may have a nosebleed or lip, but she, she a little contact on the inside. And that's the rule. You have to take them out if they show any kind of or sign of blood at all. The Raiders are in the house, Pete. See Black and Silver walking down the sideline. They've just arrived. That's our game coming up next. Raiders of South Floyd taking on the home team of Bobcats and Betsy Lane. Second one from Howard. Good. And that pulls down Central closer than they've been in a while. It's an eight-point advantage now for the Black Cats. 46. 38. Webb and uh, 54 bowling into the game for Prestonsburg. Full court pressure by the Lady Running Reds. Black Cats trying to get it in. Ooh, they just beat it. And Stephens called. That's been a popular call back court this evening. 2.24 to play in the third quarter. Eight-point lead for the Lady Black Cats. Now Central with a chance to cut into that lead a little more. Tim Trent talking things over down there with the scores table. Harold Tackett checking things out, trying to see what's going on. Something, uh, something's going on. All right, we're ready for play. And Al Central have problems getting it in. Barb Prater on the floor. And guess what, a walk. That was the correct call. She was on the court. Moving with the ball, that is traveling. Good call by Tim Trent. The referee's doing a fine job. They did a good job last night, really, in the first game. They sure have. Christenberg gets it across Coleman. Coleman looking, gives it back out Hal. Angela Howe gives off the music back to Howe. Inside they take it. Turn around shot, music off the glass. And it's back to the 10 point spread, 48-38. Reisner gives it down to Sizemore. Sizemore hits the bottom of the rim. She goes for her own board. Prater comes up with it. And she gives it out to Mullins. Mullins down the corner. Prater spots for three. Good. In and out, Barb Prater knocks it down from the left corner. And it's a seven point advantage for the Black Cats and backcourt double dribble. Allen Central gaining some momentum. This game's far from over. Big time turnover by Coleman that time. Terry Mullins works it down. Turnaround shot. And what a nice move by Tanya Howard. 48-43, and a backcourt foul. By Mullins, of Allen Central, full court pressure, only a five-point lead. They've cut a 13-point lead down to five in about three minutes, with Conley on the bench. And it's still Prater. Oh, she got hacked. As she stole it in backcourt, going for the layup, she got put to the court. She's going to collect a couple of free throws. That was Webb uh, throwing it in bounds. Uh, 
no one near it but Allen Central. Drew it right to Bart Prater. Gosh, that was supposed to intentional foul. She got through to the floor. sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home. The ultimate deterrent for porch pirates. Know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution. Encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Gearheart Broadband knows the internet is evolving, taking new twists and turns as we add our input, make our choices, and follow the light that connects us all. It's quite a journey, one to experience with the fastest speeds available. Contact Gearheart Broadband and connect to the internet speed that suits your journey and enjoy the ride. 
pass the ball to start this fourth and final quarter. What do you think, Pete? Uh, it's still going down the wire. Of course, uh, free throws and uh, foul trouble may decide this game. Conley's back in, so she's going to have to be careful. I think they're going to need all the firepower to win this game. All of them have to be in there at the end. Prestonsburg in that half court trap. And it's deflected, a turnover up ahead of the pack hell. And she lays it off the glass for two. Now Central will have to take care of the ball. Prestonsburg continues to capitalize off those turnovers. Baseline move, Sizemore for two. Prestonburg wastes no time getting it up court. 56-47. And that was an elbow, no call. Powell gets it off to Music. Inside posting up Adams. They tried to take it to her. She gets it and draws the foul. Looks like the foul is on 32. Carry uh, Osborne. Fourth. Sending Stephanie Adams to the free throw line for two. Stephanie has six points so far tonight. Adams eyes the basket. And the shot no good. She's a little off balance. Riser into the game for Sizemore. Big, big free throws, Pete. This is what you practice all season for. Give your team that little extra advantage or to get them back in these close games. Adams can't hit either one of them, and a foul on the rebound, and uh-oh, uh-oh. Conley over the back. I mean, it Conley can be in her fourth personal foul. Sending uh, Allen Central to the free throw line for bonus. They're in the bonus already. The next one will be the bonus. Next foul by Allen Central will be a bonus for Prestonsburg. Well, there's no doubt that that hurts Prestonsburg, Pete, because Conley helps them big time inside, and Allen Central's already proved that they can control the boards. And the wide end of the game for Conley is Coach Harold Tackett has to set her down for a while. And it won't go. Cats get the rebound. Howe gets it across to Coleman. Coleman to Howe. 56-47. White with it. White on the drive. Pulls back out Howe. Coleman. Black hat showing patience. Howe dumps off inside. Music and a foul on the baseline. Foul's on Jackie Martin. I have her with five, it's unofficial. That is five on Jackie Martin, who fouls out of the game as Tanya Howard will replace her. Jackie Martin fouls out with three points tonight. Big sophomore got in early foul trouble. She spent a lot of time on the bench, and there she is fouling out with 6.28 to play. And the music. Excellent free throw shooter puts the first one in. Music is short on the second one. Uh-oh, offensive rebound. And the shot up, no good for Adams. She gets another opportunity, it won't go, and music over the back. No, Allen Central over the back. Adams will step up to the line. Carrie Osborne commits her fifth foul, and she's out of the game. It's a 10-point lead for 
for Prestonsburg. It's time for Allen Central go to work. Three point shot out of the corner. Air ball. Offensive port put back. Double zero. Tanya Howard. And she's been a workhorse in there tonight, Pete. Six points off the bench. Howell gets it. Up court. She'll take it all the way. Stop and pop from 10. No good. And Sizemore with the rebound. 57 49. A big possession right here for Allen Central. And a foul at the free throw line. Angela Howe committed her fourth personal foul. Now, Prestonsburg in foul trouble. Of course, uh, Conley's been in foul trouble all night. We've had two to foul out from Allen Central already. And Terry Mullins get an opportunity here to cut into that lead. Terry had a fine first half with 10 points. And make, she hits the front end. Make that 11 now. Seven point ball game. And the second one's good. 57, 51. Christensburg. And a near turnover. Coleman back to right. And it's out of bounds. <laughs> Off the leg or knee of uh, Allen Central defender. <laughs> But it was off the knee of one of the defenders. 5.25 remaining. <laughs> Adams with it in the corner. She takes it in the paint. Brooke Coleman down underneath, no good. First one, second one for music, no good. Five for the board and a foul in there as number double zero Tanya Howard pulls down another big rebound. And the music committed her third after missing two underneath the goal. Unusual for her. With 5 11 to play, six point lead. Back to that half time lead for the Lady Black Cats. Big free throws coming up for Howard. This is double bonus, looks like, already. You are correct. And that one won't go. He's two for five from the foul line so far. Lane violation there possibly. No call. She misses it. Out of bounds and he'll stay with Allen Central. Last touch, Black Cats. Let's see what Allen Central can do in this offensive position. In the paint, inbound pass. Ooh, a good shot from Howard, and it won't go. They got the shot they was looking for. Down court right. Dribbles in traffic. Keeps it alive. Gives off. Powell. Down the corner of Coleman. Coleman working it around. Gives off to White. 440 to go. And we got a foul out top of the key. That's on Barb Prater. For Allen Central, and she commits her third. Timeout on the court, and it is a full timeout. And with that, we'll take a break. You're listening to and watching the 58th District Tournament at the D.W. Howard Fieldhouse on the Intermountain Sports Network. We live in a modern, connected world. Your smart home security system should keep pace with your on-the-go life giving you a view of your home and the ability to control what happens at your front door as if you were there. The best deterrent, peace of mind, at home or away. Protect what's important to you. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. With families spending more time at home together this year, it's a great time to level up your internet for the speed and Wi-Fi you need to power game consoles and computers at peak performance. Call or click Gearheart Broadband to upgrade. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit eCare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill review your statements, 
or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. She'll have the double bonus. And she's good on the first one. Extends that lead out to 7, 58, 51. And the second one won't go down. And AC back on the attack. Reisner gives out to Sizemore. Sizemore takes it in against Music. And a foul on the shot. Amanda Music in foul trouble now. That's number four on her. Oh, Charles Tack is beside himself. He's got two of his best players as lead scores in foul trouble. Sizemore, and she gets the roll. Back to a six point ball game. One more for Shannon Sizemore. She studies it good. Gotta have them. 58 53. It's back to five. 4 28 remaining. Hal working it around. She gives that to Coleman. Coleman off to White. Prestonsburg is kind of working it out beyond the three point arc. Now they take it inside Adams back to White. White down in the corner. What we got, Pete? Double dribble, ball. double dribble. She picked her dribble up and then dribbled again. Can't do that, that's illegal. Big turnover, seven this half for Prestonburg, opposed to four for AC. Big possession for Allen Central. Down to Prater. Prater gives back out to Mullins. Mullins inside, Sizemore. Off the glass, it won't go. Right with the board, and she's fouled immediately. That's Barb Prater, number four on her. Double bonus, foul shot. Big foul shots. Now, we've said all year long, Adam, when it comes down to crunch time in tournament play, you got to knock down your free throws to win in the tournament. So, buddy, I know uh, you've been a coach for years in, the, in this basketball here that I know you stressed it all year long to your players. You got to have them. You get a free toss, you got to put them in, and that one's not good for White. Number two is good. She hits one to two. 59-53. And Connolly comes back in for Prestonsburg with four fouls. Let's yeah. see if they go at her, Pete. Half court pressure by the five cats. 344 to play. Prater double team. He gets back out. Ooh, Terry Mullins was hammered. Big court. And that's by Angela Howe. She has four now. This could be crucial for Prestonsburg getting into these foul problems. Let's see what, what kind of uh, performance they can get off the bench. They may need it. The bench play may very well decide this ball game, Adam, and the foul shooting. Little player Terry Mullins back to the line where she's hit a few and she continues the streak. She's hit five for five from the foul line tonight. Perfect. She's confident at the line. The second one rolls off with Jinkster. And a foul on the rebound. Barb Prater commits her fifth foul on music on the board. They'll walk it down court. Both teams in the double bonus from this point on. 340 to go. Once again, we want to remind everyone, coming up, South Floyd, Betsy Lane, 58th District Battle. See who gets into the championship game to face a very tough Allen Central team. Music hits the first one. Prestonburg is only three for eight, three for nine from a free throw line this quarter. Second one no good for Music and a tenth by Adams no good. And Allen Central gets the rebound, gets it up court. Reisner, three, it won't go. Out to Music. 
Music double team gives off to Coleman. 60 to 54, six point advantage for the Black Cats. Coleman working against Reisner, and Reisner fouls. Three on Reisner. Are we talking about three throw uh, shots? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, four for uh, three, for 11 for Prestonburg this quarter. And okay. Coleman can't get three it Three for 12. Not good, not good at all, Pete. They're fortunate to have a six point lead with foul shooting the way they're doing it. Coleman can't hit either one of them. And it's out of bounds off the of rail, they get a break. Out of bounds. That's a turnover for the Rebels. It was only their fifth this half. They've done a better job of protecting the basketball. Been it in the first half. And 11 turnovers close five this half. Adams on the baseline brings it in. Inside music back out to Coleman. Grayson nothing to be in a hurry about. And they throw it away. Coleman just throws it away. That time, another turnover. Tried to get it down the corner to wide, but the pass was too wide. Seems like from this point on, just about every possession for Allen Central is huge. We've got a score. Mullins down on the baseline. They take it back out. Reisner, three-point shot, and it's blocked, I believe. Conley got a little bit of the ball. Music with the basketball gives it up to Brooke Coleman. Coleman gives off to White. White finds a wide open lane and scores easily. Man, someone lost their assignment. 62-54. Christiansburg with the lead. Mullins. Prater for three. Swish. Man, that was huge. 62-53 is to five points. It's the closest Allen Central's been here in the second half. Wide all the way to the basket, and it won't go. Allen Central with the board, up court quickly, Prater. Prater takes it in, and it's going in. What a play. What a shot. How'd she get that off? And it's a three-point game, Pete, 62-59. Everyone's coming up to their feet. Prestonsburg calls a timeout, and it's a full one. We're gonna take a break. Don't you go anywhere. We got a barn burner, 62-58. Intermount Sports Network. Gearheart Broadband knows the internet is evolving, taking new twists and turns. As we add our input, make our choices, and follow the light that connects us all. It's quite a journey, one to experience with the fastest speeds available. Contact Gearheart Broadband and connect to the internet speed that suits your journey. And enjoy the ride. W. Howard Fieldhouse. I'm going to correct myself. The score is 62 to 59, even closer than I The three-point ball game, 147 to go. Pete, it's going to come down to free throws, buddy. It sure is. And right now, Prestonsburg is on the short end of making their free throws. They've missed it. almost an even dozen. Not quite that many, but a lot of them they've missed this fourth quarter. Well, this is the closest Allen Central's been here in the second half, and they have the ball. They can cut into that lead even more. It comes in, down inside, Howard, shot, won't go. Oh my, she got a good shot. Music with the board, and Prestonsburg will set up offense. Coleman gives off to Conley, 1.30 to go. Coleman, Coleman working, they're just melting the clock. Ooh, it's thrown away, Brader. Trader one on one down court. She can't get it to go. Double dribble on back court. And Allen Central with a huge break. Another turnover by White. She forgets she dribbles uh, once and then forgets it and then picks it up, dribbles again. Just Trader. a freshman. She's fine for the day. Trader's having a big second half for Allen Central. She's doing it all over the court. Inside, Sizemore. She gets it to go. And 
may have gotten fouled. I don't see how she got that to go. She was double teamed. One point game. What a huge basket by Shannon Sizemore. 62-61, one minute to go. Girls, 58th District Tournament. Who's going to get into the championship game tomorrow night to face South Floyd? We will find out shortly. Keep it here with us. Coleman on the right wing. Back out to Conley. 40 seconds. Coleman guarded closely by Reisner. Ooh, a near walk, no call. Conley, 33 seconds. And a foul out top of circle. Foul is on Tanya Howard. It'll be a double bonus time. 31 seconds to play. This is where it's at. And they want to ice a free throw shooter. Full time out by Allen Zimmer. And since it's a full time out, we'll have to take another one to hear from our fine sponsors. We'll be right back. We live in a modern, connected world. Your smart home security system should keep pace with your on-the-go life, giving you a view of your home and the ability to control what happens at your front door as if you were there. The best deterrent, peace of mind, at home or away. Protect what's important to you. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional. Free throws coming up. For Conley, her team up by 1.62, 61, 31 seconds to go. Mia Conley gets the first one. Free throws not being too kind here in the second half for Prestonsburg, but that was the biggest one so far. Four for 13 in the fourth quarter from the foul line for Prestonsburg. And Thank she hits back. the second one. Blue ice back. water in her veins. Big free throw. The three-point advantage, 64-61. AC has to score. Trader, three-point shot, and it's short. And music's immediately fouled. 22 Foul seconds to go. By Reisner, her fourth. Good foul, stopping the clock. Puts Prestonburg on the uh, free throw line where they've been unsuccessful as far as I'm concerned. Five for 14 in the fourth quarter. It's helped put uh, AC back in the ball game, played by Prater and the threes by Reisner earlier. And certainly been big factors in bringing AC back. Music. And she can hit the first one. She's only converted two out of five this quarter. That's a big one right here. A big free throw. And it won't go. Down Central back on the attack. Bullens to Reisner. Reisner takes it in and scores. With 13 seconds, it's a one-point game, 64 to 63. And let's just leave it right here, Pete, and talk about this here just a little bit. No doubt about it, Al Central's going to be applying the full court pressure. What do, you, what do you do at this point? you got 13 seconds. I guess, uh, really, you've been behind by one point. You're going to have to foul immediately, put them on the line. And, and you know, if they make both of them, they still can tie with the three. So. More than likely, we're going to see an immediate foul here. What do you think? What they'll do is try to prevent the inbounds pass, maybe steal or cause a turnover by Prestonsburg, cover the uh, players inside receiving the passes. But if they get it inside, as you said, Adam, they will immediately foul, putting Prestonsburg on the free throw line, where they have been highly unsuccessful in the fourth period. Their misses at the free throw line has helped Allen Central get back into this game. Okay, right fast, we're going to down some sponsors on WPRG TV5. Lynn Martin Hammond, Attorney at Law, Microtech Internet Services, Fletcher and Hall, Reno's Roadhouse, Hall Funeral Home, Ebony and Ivory, Appalachia Wireless, Downtown Drug, East Coast Supply, Justice and Stamper Insurance Agency, King Mobile Homes, and Larry Brown, Attorney at Law. What a ball game, a one point game. Prestonsburg with the ball and the lead, everyone on their feet. They're having problems. And they gotta have a timeout, Pete. They gotta have another one. They gotta burn it. They couldn't get it in. Excellent job by the Rebels. All right, on the double X. WXKZ 105.3 FM sponsors to mention. Martin, uh, Glenn Martin Hammond, attorney of law. 
McDowell Professional Pharmacy, Downtown Drug, Pepsi, Video Magic 2000, Darby and Allen Insurance Agency, Dr. Richard Salisbury, Ebony and Ivory, Appalachian Wireless, Tackett Furniture, Dr. Lee Majeki, Direct TV, and Microtech Internet Services. Wow. And we still got a doozy coming up. Betsy Lane, South Floyd. Any predictions? <laughs> Don't want to touch uh, it right no. now. Uh, no, I think it's a, yeah, I think it's a toss up. But I think Betsy Lane has, has been playing better in the last two or three weeks. I see Coach Brent Rose, tournament director here at the 58 District Tournament, walk around a little bit this thing. He looks awfully cool and calm and collected. Cool as a cucumber. We shall see. Bessensburg to bring it in. Adams looking. And it comes in to Conley. Conley's Conley. immediately fouled. Conley hit two big free throws already here in this quarter. Well, that's going to hurt AC. That's uh, five fouls on Jeff Riser. Three point threat out of the game. Riser, a fine ball player, senior, leader for Coach Calvert. She ends up the game with uh, 16 what points. What's Conley from the line, Pete? Conley is two for two this quarter. Overall, uh, two, four, five, seven for eight. And make it eight of nine. And she hits the first one. What a big throw this one is. This could put it out to three. And she gets it. AC needs a three-point shot. Ten seconds. Over to Prater. Prater spots up. And it won't go. And this game is that much closer to being over. It's not over yet, though. Five seconds to go. And uh, Remanda Music will step up to the line. Tiffany Turner into the game. And uh, she fouls at back court. Of course, she had to foul. Now five seconds go down by three. These are big free throws. If she makes either one of them, it's over with with five seconds. They can allow them to score and the game be over with. They're going to have to throw the ball in bounds. Uh, 12 o'clock does stop, though. So it might take five seconds to score if they miss both of them. Music. And she hits it. That could have sealed it. 67 to 63. It's now a four point lead. Five seconds to go. Music, second one in. 68, 63, four seconds. Prater throws up a prayer, and the game is over. It was an exciting one. But the Prestonsburg Lady Black Cats hold on for the victory by five, 68 to 63, over the Allen Central Lady Rebels. What a game. We'll be right back with the post-game show, and then we'll turn right around and have the pre-game show. Betsy Lane, South Floyd, coming up on the Intermountain Sports Network. Fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home. The ultimate deterrent for porch pirates. Know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution. Encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Gearheart Broadband knows the internet is evolving, taking new twists and turns as we add our input, make our choices, and follow the light that connects us all. It's quite a journey, one to experience with the fastest speeds available. Contact Gearheart Broadband and connect to the internet speed that suits your journey and enjoy the ride. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. 
Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. Five Live, and on your radio dial, 105.3. Thanks for being with us here on this Wednesday night of basketball action, 58th district style. And we're going to go down to Pete Grigsby Jr. courtside here momentarily, but right now, your final stats. And we'll start with Allen Central. They were led and scored by Jennifer Reisner, 17 points. 16 points for Shannon Sizemore, three for Jacqueline Martin, 13 points for Terry Mullins, eight for Barb Prater, six points for Tanya Howard. And that totals Allen Central with 63 points. All right, they had 11 turnovers in the, or 16 turnovers in the game. For the victorious Prestonsburg Black Cats, only 11 turnovers, and this is how the scoring went. Remanda Music with a huge game, 30 points on the night, four points for Angela Howell. Brooke Coleman don't score six points for Stephanie Adams. And Amelia Conley had 16. Amelia Conley had 16.